Hello, welcome to Stampin' by Hannah today. Thank you so much for joining me as part of our um, mini catalogue launch party. Um, I'm sure that you have reached here by some fantastic videos already. Um, but if this is your first video um, of the event, do um, click the link in the down bar below. There'll be loads more videos for you to see. Um, today, I thought I would share the Friendly Gnomes stamp set. I love this stamp set. It's so cute. Um, you've got three of the gnomes. You've got a lovely little toad store, some really nice sentiments. And we're going to make a fancy fold card. So I'm going to, I've, I've kind of done some steps ahead and I'm going to cut and... It's going to not be quite my usual kind of video, but I'm trying to keep this nice and short. Um, so all the measurements will be over on my blog, both in metric and imperial, and hopefully, if I can work it out, um, for 8.5x11 cardstock as well. So we're doing a gatefold card today, and I have got um, a piece of basic black cardstock. Now, I have already scored this um, kind of at, yeah, in two places. Um, like I said, I'm not going to give you the measurements, but the, all the measurements are over on my blog. And I was inspired to share um, this card today by my team leader, who we did a, um, I hope she won't mind me saying this, we did a team event um, just before Christmas, a kind of Christmas party. And we do kind of live on the spot crafting. And one of the suggestions was for her to make a gatefold card, and she actually didn't know what a gatefold was. So for my team leader, this is for you. <laughs> so we have got... Cute little gatefold, really super simple, but we're going to dress it up a little bit because I have got another panel and I've got, there's a little score just in the top of this one. So I'm going to burnish that as well. Um, oh, pulling paintbrushes and things out of my uh, tool pot. So this piece is slightly shorter and slightly narrower than our, than the middle of our gatefold. So it's going to sit just on the inside there as a kind of extra panel so i'm gonna grab because i haven't actually got any adhesives out at all kind of trying to be organized but also i cut all of this last night um and then i've like grabbed 10 minutes today to get this filmed um i am really sorry as well because i've got a terrible cold so this is some tear and tape and i'm going to put that right up against that score line and where is my take a pick Honestly, couldn't craft without this thing. This the, the take a picture. If you've not got one, they are incredible. Use it all the time. So we are going to just pop that in the middle at the top so that it folds and unfolds. Let's take that piece of tape out. There we go. Now, I have already got a load of kind of pieces of cardstock um, for decoration. So there are... This is, and I should have looked this up, this paper's from the annual catalogue. That, that would be really good, wouldn't it, if I just knew what that was called. But my brain is honestly not working. This cold, I think I've had three colds since the kids have broken up for Christmas. Um, I can't wait for her to go back to school on Wednesday. So what day is that? The 4th. So this, before, before this comes to you, my child will have returned to school. Hopefully I might get some brain power back. So this is perfectly penciled, which is the um, in the annual catalogue. And I love it. It's really, really fun. Lots of black and white prints. Um, and I thought it worked really well with the gnomes just because it's really simple. A lot of the, the B sides, there's flowery um, kind of floral uh, A sides of the paper. But the B sides are nice kind of generic patterns. I use this paper all the time. I think it's a bit of a hidden gem, really. So those two panels of designer's paper onto those two panels of basic white. And then these are going to go on the front of our gatefold, like so. And I'll admit, at this point, we're four and a half minutes into this video and I have not stamped the new stamp set at all. Which is shocking, isn't it? But then I've got a piece for that, a piece of um, basic white for that basic black panel. So I'm going to pop that on there, like that, and a floral piece. So you can see there's a floral on one side and a dot on the other. It's lush. I think this was the cut to go in there. Yes, it was. So, like I said, prep last night. Did not feel well enough to film. Um, 
yeah, just horrendous. I swear, like, everybody's got a cold at the moment, haven't they? Everybody's poorly. So then I've got one kind of standard panel of basic white to go in the middle. And this then covers up because obviously we've got this weird edge, haven't we? We want to get that covered. So when I just stick that over the top and then you can't see where that panel magically lives. How cool is that? I think that's such a fun, fancy fold. So I have also die cut some pieces, excuse me. Oh, I had a coffin fit then. So I've also gone ahead and die cut these pieces from the Stylish Shape Dies. Love these, cannot get enough. They um, they never leave my desk, they don't, never ever go away. So there's a circle and these fabulous, I've just realised I meant to take my nail polish off and then completely forgot. Never mind, you'll have to just deal with my nails. Oh, dear. Got just the worst cough. Um, so yeah, there's circle squares and then these cute little labels that are really lovely with this, all with a stitched edge. So I'm gonna grab some stamps and actually make some, do some stamping. So the very cute little toadstool. I want the little, uh, the, the girl um, gnome and the stud that says, love you. So let's get these on some blocks. Just very quick stamping today. Um, you could really, really go to town and colour these and make them look really beautiful. But I'm actually going to stick with the black and white theme of this card. So I've got some memento ink. I'm going to do the sentiment first. Now, normally I would suggest die cutting, stamping first and then die cutting. But I'm going to, I've got my big girl pants and I'm going to be brave. And I, you know what? If it goes wrong, I can always uh, stamp it again. So, sentiment on there, very cute. Then, I'm gonna just stamp this toadstool. I'm gonna stamp it off to one side ever so slightly on our circle. And then I need, which I of course haven't got, is a scrap, a scrap of basic white. You see, it's a proper scrap. It's generally got stuff cut out of it and a scrap of basic white for our gnome. I mean, isn't she just adorable? She's so cute. I love a photopolymer stamp. They just stamp so beautifully. Just lovely. And the, the special thing about these dies is that they coordinate with the gnomes dies that were in, the, um, in last year's uh, July to December mini catalogue. So I can die cut this lovely little gnome lady out. So, you see, still got washi tape on them because, um, yeah, I have I have to washi tape my dyes to the cardstock when I run them through my, my uh, cutting bus machine. Um, I don't think I need to for the machine. I think it's just a me thing. So I'm going to run this through my machine and I will be back. Okay, so she has come out of there just beautifully. Do love it when we've got coordinating dyes, don't you? So, look at her. She's so cute. So, we just need to attach these pieces onto the front of our um, gatefold. And what's lovely is that if you pop that circle on the front of there, and we're just going to we're gonna um, attach it on one side. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make one of the holes slightly bigger so that I can then see that that one there is my midpoint. And you can see where I've collected some bits off a big shot when I've been die cutting. And I have got, where have they gone? Some dimensionals. So I want three dimensionals. One there, one there, and one there. And I think I've just put them on the wrong side. But that really doesn't matter. My brain, like I said, cold, not functioning at all. Actually, that's not worked, has it? That has not worked at all. Because, look what we've done. Oh, silly, 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 silly. Uh, you see, if you come and craft with me, you get bloopers. I don't edit, well, I do edit a little bit. Not going to edit this out though, because that's just a lot of work. So I'm just going to just rub away that last bit of dimensional. 
and I'm going to, actually that'll be okay. So then I want a couple of dimensionals on the back of my gnome, but I'm not going to put them on my gnome. I'm going to put them on this panel because I know, you see that, so I want one there and one there because she can then go over the top like that look at her she's so fancy and then one dimensional on the back of there and some seal on the other side there we go keeping this card really really simple because i think that the mechanism just does all of the talking it's so fun so thank you ever so much for joining me today here at Slamber by Hannah. I would be so honoured if you would consider subscribing. Um, I do videos um, usually twice a week live. Um, one live uh, live over on uh, Facebook that goes here live here on YouTube on a Monday morning. And one live on a Wednesday evening. Which hopefully I will have done one last night. So, <laughs> fingers crossed I'm feeling better because I've had Christmas off. Um, but I am back with a full force so that is your card from me thank you so much for joining me like i said do consider subscribing um pop over to my instagram channel for more inspiration and i hope to see you again really soon thanks for watching bye for now